When taking an anterior periapical, use a blue bite block and a metal rod that has two bends in it and two prongs facing the ceiling. Assemble the instrument like this and use again a blue or a red ring. Always make sure that when you look through the ring, your receptor is going to be centered right in the middle of, a, of the ring. It's very, very important that when, that when you do this with a direct sensor, that you do not place the bite block right at the bottom edge of the sensor. This is because the bottom few millimeters of the sensor here are not active. And if you do it like this, you'll miss the incisal edge of the anterior teeth. So I'd always recommend sticking this on a couple of millimetres from the edge where the active area of the sensor begins. In the Serona sensor this is demonstrated by the writing and the black dots. We tend to use a size 1 sensor when taking these images as it is easier to position around the arch. If however the patient has a very high palate you can sometimes use a size 2 sensor to do an anterior XCP periapical examination. If the patient has all their teeth present, we tend to do four maxillary anterior views and three mandibular uh, views. This setup can be used to do the maxillary anterior teeth and also the, ma the mandibular anterior teeth. Make sure that the patient always closes completely together onto the outer third of the bite block here. This ensures that the receptor is being held parallel to the long axis of the teeth of interest. If the patient bites too near the receptor, here, the receptor is not parallel to the teeth and distortion will occur.